Hello children, so this is the War Memorial of All Saints Church, West Haddon. Just here, if the camera can come closer, you can see the names of the soldiers that died in the 1914-1918 war. That's World War I. You will read those out, I think, at some point today. And if we come round this side, You can see the names that died in the Second World War, 1939 to 1945. So, what we can see now is the whole war memorial, can't we? We can see the cross on the plinth with the names underneath. And it's important that cross, it's in a churchyard that reminds us of Jesus who died on a cross for us and of course Jesus died on a cross having been captured by soldiers, tortured by soldiers and then nailed onto the cross. And all that helps us to think about how Jesus shared our suffering but of course Jesus isn't on the cross anymore. Christians believe that he rose from the dead. He triumphed over death. And for Christians that helps us to believe that we can have hope in Jesus if we put our trust in him. So that's, that's a Christian understanding of remembrance. So I'm recording this on Monday the 9th of November. On the 8th we had Remembrance Sunday. Nothing happened in this church. I broadcast a service from St Lawrence in Long Buckby for all of the villages around here. But you can see, if you come over here, that people have put little memorials up there. For all I know, you did some of these. Stones and a poppy there, decorated. And if we come over here, You can see that some people have put three little crosses with people's names on. There's Donald Mead, William Eden Nash, who died the 28th of July 1917. And I can't quite read that one. Any rate. So that's that. If we come on a bit more, up the steps here. You can see this memorial bench, which was put up last year, no, two years ago to commemorate a hundred years since the end of the First World War. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to walk through the churchyard. If you come with me, we'll walk through the churchyard and we're going to have a look at two graves of soldiers who died in the war. And so if you can see where we are, I can see the church on my right, just there. Then if you follow me, then at some point you can come here with your parents or on your own or with your friends and you can have a look at the war grave yourself. So, over here, okay, so let's have a look at this war grave. This is a very distinctive stone. You can see it's 532351 Private E Eagle Stone. 
Canadian Army Medical Corps and he died on the 29th of May 1918 aged 35 and you can see here other members of his family and it says in this stone here at the bottom in loving memory of Edgar Eaglestone who died at Norfolk War Hospital on May the 29th 1918 wounds received in the hospital raid in the hospital raid on May the 19th at Etaples E T A P L E S what does it say here we can't read this interred at All Saints Churchyard Ooh. and the date is underneath the grass now June well children I haven't done this before excuse me <coughs> June the 2nd And then it says Elliot Rugby. There we are. Duty nobly done. Right, well, looks as if this stone needs a bit of looking after, doesn't it? So there's the first war grave. Let's come with me. Yeah. So here's another war grave in loving memory of Thomas John the dear son of George and Josephine Osborne. So it's in other words, it's Thomas John Osborne who died in Hasler Hospital. Now that's down in Portsmouth, May the 26th, 1918, aged 24 years. And underneath here, I'm gonna to have to move the grass away after his ship had been torpedoed he was adrift for 123 hours on an 18 foot raft, continually exposed to rough weather, drenched by the heavy seas and suffering from lack of food. And then underneath it says duty nobly done. So this is his grave and you can come and see that as well at some point in the future. So that's the, the two war graves in um, All Saints Churchyard. I'm now going to take you into the church, so come with me. So we're now going to go into All Saints Church and we're going to have a look at what's inside. Somebody, I don't know who, has made this little model. So do you just want to have a look at that, which is in church? You can see tanks and some soldiers in a trench. And it's got poppies underneath it. Okay. And now we come over here, and first of all, here, once again, you can see the West Haddon Roll of Honour. And this list is the list of names of all the people that fought in the war. And you can see there's a little cross indicating who was actually killed and 
then over here on the right hand side you can see the Roll of Honour for the Second World War 1939 to 1945. Again this role is of all the people from West Haddon who fought in the war and again you can see the crosses the names of the people who died. And then between these two pictures you can see and I'm going to remove this pot of flowers. So let's just have a look at this picture, shall we? If we can get up close. The men of West Haddon who died in the service of their king and country in the Great European War. So you can see those names again and we've actually got photographs of them. So that's a rather special photograph, isn't it? Who have we got? E Eaglestone, we read the words on his gravestone. Fitzroy, W. Gamage, W. Letts, T. Goodman, T. J. Osborne, that was the other grave we read, H. Randall, and W.T. West. So there we are. There's some actual photographs of the people themselves. Underneath that picture you can see what's called a kneeler. People kneel on those in church and that has we will remember them, which are words that we say during a remembrance service. I'll have to put this back the right way. And so that concludes our tour of All Saints West Haddon Church with memories and remembrance of the soldiers who served and who died in World Wars I and II. Now I think if, if it's like other years you're going to read or will have read some of your poetry and you will also read out the names of the dead and observe two minutes silence. So I hope what I've shown you is helpful as you learn about remembrance. Goodbye.